Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, it wasn't, we talked about this earlier, it probably wasn't ideal to go today, but tomorrow, it's a different story. Well, I think the old trick is add a day or two from the storm. Yeah. Yeah. Or did I just give the secret away? <laughs> you just gave it oh, away. Oh, you know, you know how it works yeah, if you do Yeah, it. You, you wait but till the roads are clear and... and yes, yeah. especially if you drive a small car like me. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, maybe some other people. It's tough when it's <laughs> tough when it's snowy. <laughs> Let's take a look here. Uh, the camera at Jay, look how it's wobbling still. The gusts have been probably 50 and 60 miles per hour at least at the summit so there were impacts all across the region but you can definitely see high up in other words the air is drying out the mountain snow is coming to an end i mean if it's not snowing at jay it's probably not snowing anywhere in the state right now how about superstar even at killington right now uh, far eastern rutland county blue sky up above same deal in Burlington as we look out towards the Adirondacks. Scarface Mountain in Saranac Lake. One more pit stop here. Brattleboro, a sure sign of things to come with the blue sky here. Now, it's still a 30-mile-an-hour gust in Burlington, 25 in Brattleboro. You see here the plan overnight, less wind. There's still a little tomorrow, but with temps near 50 and sun, I don't think it's going to be much of a problem tomorrow. Outages by county. One more check of this. Washington County is still 336 customers uh, without power. There's roughly two and a half people for every customer. That's kind of the formula that the companies use. So uh, good to see the numbers really go down after uh, a crest of about 30,000 out yesterday morning with the wet snow. So here comes the clearing. No more showing up on radar. Just a few clouds left over. Those will go away. High pressure in control for tomorrow before the clouds come back. So it's still almost 40 in the Champlain Valley, but you'll see here as we go along, we've got a few pockets of clouds left over tonight. That might even be overdone on Futurecast and then sunshine as we go through tomorrow. Temps up near 50. It's kind of like a Colorado day when you have all this fresh snow and then it's warm right after. I think really that's how it feels tomorrow. Very bright and kind of messy on the roads with the melting. That's something to keep in mind. And then the clouds are back for Wednesday and Thursday. There may be a sprinkle. There's not much showing up on Futurecast, so I don't think it's going to be really a big deal, but not as blue for Wednesday and Thursday. Friday, though, that is when the showers start to come in. Remember, the average high is 39, so we're way above that here for pretty much the rest of the week. So there's going to be a lot of melting. In some cases, we're probably back to grass by the time the weekend rolls around, but not in the mountains. A lot of snow up there. And you see here tonight, we've got low 20s in the Northeast Kingdom, 17 for Saranac Lake, 26 in Plattsburgh. But we bounce way up into the 40s, almost 50 degrees for tomorrow. Certainly, that's the case in Ticonderoga, very close in Burlington. Not quite as you get up towards Lindenville, more like a 39 there. But Brattleboro will be in the low 50s, so will Rockingham, and so will Bennington. So the extended forecast, fairly quiet through Thursday, but Friday we've got... Uh, pretty numerous showers, maybe later in the day, but I think they're in the form of rain as opposed to snow. And a couple of showers over the weekend. I don't think it's very wet, though, so uh, I think many outdoor things will be fine Saturday and Sunday, just dodging a couple showers. We do have to watch, potentially, for some snow on the first day of spring. Begins on Tuesday of next week, and uh, ironically, for the first couple days of spring there, it's more like it should be this time of year with highs in the mid and upper 30s. Liz, Brian.